What's up guys, Parkir from VIP Shop Management. Today I want to talk about signing documents like estimate, authorization, and invoice. That's something required by all states. Why is that? To protect the customer and to protect the hour per shop as you're not selling a product you're selling the service that it could be multiple services at any time i i can bring my car in for cool and leak now it needs radiator and and water pump and multiple things that's the problem with it that's why there's so much problem that the states had to come up with rules to limit and and protect the consumer and protect the auto repair shop in this matter so it's really important when I drop my car off, you support, I'm supposed to sign your terms, whether you're charging a diagnosis fee or not. And, and you're supposed to give me a copy of that and an authorization. I know most shops are skipping that, but when you get in trouble, when, when a customer lies and says, I never authorized this, shops are actually losing in court in most cases. And that's why we're trying to fix this problem and, and you know, making sure when a customer, I, that happened to me, you know, they, what they did is I did my job and, and two months later he called his credit card, American Express, and American Express says, took the money without even telling me, that, no notice, nothing. I almost sued him, so I called him, like, excuse me, sir, who the hell do you think you are? Here's a copy. I, I can't believe I can't, I'm not suing you for stealing my money, that's stealing. You're protecting your American Express customer. Your customer is a liar. Did you know that? Yeah, they gave me the money instantly. So make sure if this happened to you to have the documents and send him the document and send copy to his address if that's his right address. It's unbelievable, man. That's the fact of the matter, man. We live between good people and evil people. Sad part, the majority are evil. So you gotta figure out how to maneuver and you gotta go, like you cannot just sit at home and say, I don't wanna deal with evil people, that doesn't work. It is where it is, just protect yourself. You won't, you won't be having these problems. All I'm trying to do here is make it simpler. Customers right now, the way they're doing it, the old fashioned way, even with VIP shop management, is they have to print it and have the customer sign it and then leave a copy and then scan the copy. That's too much work. What we're trying to do here is eliminate this whole thing. Sign it directly on the tablet. And then, uh, and then after signing on the tablet, now VIP will save a copy automatically. Let me show you how that works. And let me just, on the tablet right here, this will be redesigned, just to let you know. We're still in the testing mode right now. But on the tablet right here, there's uh, two buttons right now. Sign in and check out. Let me see if I can bring this, this camera, it's not good bring this there's two buttons right now sign in and check out the sign in it still have the same functionality right to sign in and if the number doesn't exist it's gonna make you sign up so that that's still there but the checkout when a customer ready to check out or sign any document just click on that and now it says waiting on the service writer how that works it's really simple when you come here, when you, whether you, whether you, if, if I just want authorization right here, I click authorize and authorize. And let's say you said go ahead and then I click on review and sign. And now I'm going to have the option that says sign document. See, let's just have both screens right here. Sign document, all I have to just click on send and it's really fast. Like within three seconds, it will pop up on the other screen. Look at this. And it scrolls automatically, which is beautiful. So now the customer can click on sign document, can use his finger, right? Let's do this, sorry. Use his finger or there's a pen actually that comes with it. This is the pen and you can, you can really like sit and sign it correctly the way you want it. So whatever you want, you can do you can, This is a magnetic pen so you can leave it right there. And then when he clicked on, Let's watch both screens. Look how beautiful is that? Both of them. And then he's going to ask you, how is he, do you want it emailed? Emailed. We're trying to save the planet. Emailed. That's it. And just click on email and send him the email. I'm not going to do this right now, but that's it. It's as simple as that. You can sign in any way possible. There is another option I would like to show you. When he's ready to pay, let's say he comes back to pay, 
there is an op another option where it says review and sign so when when uh, what am i at when i come in to pick up my car again uh, the pandemic era is, is 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 done right now customers are going to the shops when i'm coming in to pick up my car especially cars are going to be breaking down as bad as possible right now because of the electric cars and nobody wants electric cars except it's, it's only the one percent want electric car just to let you know so we have to fix these cars for the next 10 years until we figure things out. What I'm trying to say, when I come in in person to sign to pick up my car, I need to see the invoice first, right? And that's, that's part of it. Before I, before even say credit card and it's gonna be extra charge, you can click on review and sign. Let's go check out right there. Bring this back, review and sign, and see how this works. So when review and sign, I click send, the customer can review it. He doesn't have to sign at first. He can review it. And then when he's ready, when he's done reviewing it, I just click on checkout. And then let's say I want to pay by cash. And then it's going gonna, it's gonna to bring it back here. It's going to customer select the cash. I click on cash, pay, and then sign document. I click on sign document, send it back to the customer. Now the customer can sign after he reviewed it and paid and then done and that's it how it's going to show me how he signed and how he's going to want it let's say printed and i'm all set customer is all set at this moment just go ahead and print it and you're all set so let me bring myself here. So what happened here? Okay, we're all set, right? Where are these documents that he's signing? We send it to him, we email it to him, or we printed it, but for VIP shop management, they are embedded inside VIP shop management. Click on that, click on view. We have even a tab for that, view sign document, and those are the documents. The first, that's the invoice, and I'm sorry, yeah, that's the authorization first. Remember balance due? And that's the invoice right here when he paid it. So we have both. We should have three technically though when he dropped it off. So let me bring myself here. And yes, uh, whether it's photos, you can add more than five pictures and five documents now. <laughs> so I fixed that for you guys. But we did solve it. The online uh, signing document will be fixed too. But after we master this one after we make sure that there is no flaw in this one at all and it works perfectly my goal eventually like i said i am redesigning the the front screen on this one i want when you go to any shop right now there's a screen that facing the customer and that's what i want for vip shop management customers to have a tablet you can pick i get it uh, this tablet is expensive but we will find a tablet that works perfectly and but must have a higher resolution and must be like a 13 inch the cost you don't make it hard on the customer you gotta make it easy on the customer especially when you're checking out so we're gonna make this probably eventually view the price like if you're charging a credit card fee view that first uh, view the total first and it'll be the, the, the and if you want to send it let's say I want to I want to show them an image right now you turn the screen and the customer not looking at the image but looking at everything else now we don't want that we want to be facing, we want to send him an image. He can zoom in, zoom out with his finger, and he's done. We can send him the estimate, we can send him the invoice. It's going to be a beautiful thing. We're trying something new. I don't think anybody has this. I don't think anybody approaching this. No shop monkey, no tech metric. They're stuck in their own world with the $500 a month. Stick with VIP, you'll have the best of the best. Anyway, I appreciate you guys. Until next time, thanks for watching. I'm really tired.